Dear thermal sciences and engineering community, welcome to the CN ThermSci channel, a channel with thermal sciences contents. This is the presentation for the An Inertial Air Standard Finite Time Heat Addition Auto Engine Model, paper number ENC 2020-0067 by F. M. Moreira and Professor C. Nachtraboren of the Universidade Tecnológica Federal do Paraná, UTFPR, Guarapuava Campus, for the 18th Brazilian Congress of Thermal Sciences and Engineering promoted by the Brazilian Association of Engineering and Mechanical Sciences, ABCM, and organized by PROMEC, DMEC, and the UFRGS, and SEAT 2020, held online from the 16th to the 20th of November of the 2020th year of our Lord Jesus Christ. Topics of this presentation include IFTAJ, or Inertial Finite Time Heat Edition, Modeling, Results, and Conclusions. By way of introduction to the IFTAJ, the work proposes a fairly simple coupled dynamic thermodynamic engine model that is an inertial air standard auto model with finite time heat release, basic engine parameters, and piston, rod, crank, and flywheel inertias. The motivation for the work is to create a dynamic extension of a somewhat recently published FTAJ model, which is an air standard reversible finite time heat release model for spark ignited engines. That is a minimal complexity pure substance model, including simultaneous heat and work interaction. That differs from other literature works by the early removal of the isochoric heating of the ideal auto model, thus being able to reproduce cycles with Andrews or PV diagrams as following. In the shown tests, crankshaft angular span during the heat release time interval parameter delta increases from 10 degrees in warmer colors to 110 degrees in colder colors representing situations of progressively higher engine speeds with respect to heat release times, with all other parameters fixed. Results show that as engine speed increases, the resulting PV cycle diagram transitions from a pointy, ideal auto cycle looking to smoother, experiment looking ones, with decreasing maximum attained working fluid pressure, increasing exhaust temperatures, not shown, and decreasing thermal efficiencies. These illustrate quite a prediction capacity for a simple, pure substance, reversible model, and one may wonder what predictions can also be made by incorporating basic engine dynamics to it. So the strategy is to make a model merge between the FTHA one and a suitable dynamic model. Available constant velocity dynamic models, which essentially constitute one-way couplings with the thermodynamic model, either tend to be very simple, having lumped translation-only components, or be substantially more complex, having external dependencies or including elasticity. A model that was found to be quite fitting as to be coupled to the FTAJ model was the variable velocity, hence two-way coupling, rigid body, inertia model due to Montazer Zat. On the thermodynamic modeling, engine model input parameters and variables include the crank radius R, the crank angular position alpha and angular velocity omega, which are counterclockwise increasing quantities, the rod length L, the piston diameter D and stroke S equal 2R, the top dead center volume V min, the bottom dead center volume V max, the engine compression ratio R equal V max over V min, the engine displaced volume VD, the cylinder count Z, and the unit displaced volume VDU equal to VD over Z. The instantaneous piston position X is shown as a nonlinear function of the crankshaft angle alpha, which is shown to affect the working fluid thermodynamic system volume V as well as the intensive thermodynamic property of specific volume, V lowercase. Moreover, the time discretization is laid out and the consequent crankshaft angle discretization for short delta T. The discrete energy balance is shown, along with the heat release modeling, through a normalized cumulative heat input function, Y of alpha, and the cumulative heat input signature function, G of alpha. Profiles for G of alpha can be taken from available literature or from experimental measurements. The auxiliary T star is just a shifted proper cycle time. The J iterative solution procedure for the I thermodynamic model process is laid out. By taking all processes as being locally polytropic ones with exponent n sub i, initial polytropic exponent guesses can be iteratively corrected after the process work and final internal energy, temperature, and pressure are found by the correcting equation shown at the bottom, thus closing the thermodynamic model. 
On the dynamic modeling, fundamental hypotheses include frictionless, that is, reversible, motion of modeled parts, parts modeled as rigid bodies, linear, y-axis piston translation, planar, xy rod motion, z-axis rotation, crank slash flywheel motion, y-axis piston center of mass, on-axis rod center of mass, z-axis xy origin, crank center of mass, and z-axis xy origin, flywheel center of mass. Dynamic model parameters include the piston mass, MP, the rod mass, MR, the rod center of mass inertia, IR, the crank center of mass inertia, IC, and the flywheel center of mass inertia, IF. For model kinetics, the shown R and L hypotenuse right triangles are key. The dot notation for time derivatives are used throughout. Letting capital B be defined as R over L, beta X being defined as H over L equal tangent phi, and beta Y being defined as R over L equals tangent phi over tangent alpha, then the relations below for the angular acceleration of phi can be derived and compactly expressed, as shown, in linear algebra vector vector multiplications of a coefficients rho vector indicated by bold A with an angular velocity derived column vector indicated by bold capital omega with omega square and omega dot components. Letting further RG being defined by LG over L, then the accelerations of the shown components, centers of mass, can be derived and compactly written as in the previous slide, in which the new row vector coefficients are shown. It is worth noting that, due to nasty of definitions, derived row vector coefficients are increasingly complicated functions of the primitive parameters and variables. For model kinematics, force and momentum equilibrium equations are employed. Solid body exchanged forces have three subscripts, respectively representing the action and the acted upon parts and the Cartesian direction. The F sub RPY force applied by the rod onto the piston in the Y direction is derived and expressed as shown, also with a vector vector multiplication term. The F sub G is the force due to the gauge pressure of the working fluid with respect to the crankcase, PG equal average system P minus P sub CC, in which P sub CC is the crankcase pressure. Rod dynamic force and momentum equilibria yields the shown expressions for the F sub CR X component of the crank upon the rod force, in which the bold I sub CR X is a row vector whose components have units of inertia, with MRP and YRP given on the next slide. Rod dynamic force and momentum equilibria also gives for the F sub CRY component of the crank upon the rod force, in which the bold I sub CRY is a row vector whose components have units of inertia with MRP and YRP shown. It is worth noting that the ICRX and ICRY row vector components are very complicated functions of the base quantities due to the nesting definitions. From crankshaft force momentum equilibrium, one can write the engine crankshaft angular acceleration, omega dot, in terms of a total torque T over a total inertia, I sub tot, as shown. The total torque T can be split into static and dynamic torque components, TS and TD respectively, in which the static component is due to the gauge working fluid force on the piston head, F sub G, shown on the second line, while the dynamic one is due to moving part inertias at constant angular velocity and proportional to omega square. The total inertia is the sum of the piston rod inertias due to engine crankshaft angular acceleration, omega dot, and the crank and flywheel inertias, IC plus IF. A bold IPR vector can be constructed as shown in the last line, whose definition involves both the I sub CRX and I sub CRY inertia row vectors, which, as was pointed before, are complicated functions of the basic quantities. At any given combined thermal and dynamic engine state, all quantities on the right-hand sides are known, so that determining the thermodynamic state implies knowing the engine instantaneous angular acceleration, that is, the dynamic model differential equation, whose integration influences the crankshaft angle variation during the next thermodynamic process. The model is thus a fully coupled one between dynamic and thermodynamic formulations. Moreover, the lack of friction and other irreversibilities, the model is a reversible one that is connected to thermal reservoirs of variable temperatures. One of the several validation cases is the speed, no heating, no load, in which no heating is added to an unloaded, already spinning engine. In such conditions, validation is achieved by verifying conservation of energy. Input parameters are shown on the slide, in which parameters on fire color 
contain corrections to the written article, the differences being shown in red. If the entire parameter is herein shown in red, it means that it was omitted in the written article. The plot shows the variation of instantaneous engine angular velocity, omega versus t, for the first and 1000 cycles. Whenever the piston is at the top dead center and at the bottom dead center, for a fixed given engine angular speed, the piston rod crank mechanism is at kinetic energy minimum states. Moreover, when the thermodynamic system is at working fluid inlet conditions of ambient temperature and pressure, it is at internal energy minimum states. All points circled in red present these common conditions. The fact that the engine angular velocity, and therefore its kinetic energy, being local, consistent maxima, attest energy conservation. Moreover, the fact that the cycle begins and ends at the same state also attest energy conservation. Furthermore, the fact that the 1000th cycle is the same as the first one attests long-term energy conservation in the IFTAJ model. There seems to be only one plotted curve because the first and 1000th cycles exactly match to within the high plot resolution shown and included in the article. Other validation cases are either included or source cited in the article. Reported model results include the following single cycle no load acceleration case in which a full cycle is performed with 400 kJ per kilogram of specific heat energy input at 64 linearly distributed initial engine RPMs in the interval of 112.5 RPM up to 7200 RPM as shown. The figure on the right shows the resulting simulated Andrews or PV diagrams for two selected initial engine speeds of 1125 and of 4162.5 RPM respectively. Since the heat input interval and ignition angle were kept constant at delta Tc equal 4 milliseconds and theta equal minus 15 degrees as shown, in the low RPM case the heat input is relatively quick enough as to cause the pressure to rise well above the ignition pressure, recalling the scale is logarithmic. In the higher RPM case the heat input is relatively slow enough as to cause very little departure from compression process pressures right after ignition and only later on displaying a departure, thus causing the maximum working fluid pressure to decrease with increasing engine RPM, again for all other parameters fixed. Now, instantaneous torque histories, T of T, are shown for the same cases. In the subfigure 1 on top, the thermodynamic cycle is responsible for the widest instantaneous torque variations and for same sign torques along the compression and expansion strokes, as usually expected, meaning negative torques during compression strokes and positive ones during expansion strokes, with some lower amplitude dynamic oscillations during exhaust and admission strokes. This yields a sort of thermodynamically driven torque regime. In the subfigure 2 on the bottom, however, we seem to be just past a transition in which the dynamic torque oscillations amplitudes at this RPM are greater than the thermodynamically driven ones, thus a dynamically driven instantaneous torque regime. We surprisingly see positive instantaneous torques at the end of the compression stroke, meaning rod and more likely piston decelerations alone provide more than enough for working fluid compression. Moreover, the exact reverse happens on the first half of the expansion stroke, meaning rod and chiefly piston accelerations demand more than the working fluid is able to instantaneously provide, thus making negative instantaneous torques to appear. Now, instantaneous engine speeds, omega of t in RPM, are shown for the same cases. The thermodynamically and dynamically driven regimes can also be observed by comparing subfigures 1 and 2. Since omega of t is obtained by a time integration of t of t, according to the previously shown equation for omega dot. In the subfigure 1 on top, the net thermodynamic work energy input, which is the heat energy input multiplied by the thermal efficiency, is responsible for the increased engine RPM at the end of the cycle compared to its initial value, hence the unloaded engine acceleration. The same can be said on subfigure 2. It is worth noting, however, that the cycle increase in engine RPM is smaller for the high RPM case since kinetic energy is proportional to a corresponding velocity squared for translation and rotation. Finally, the corresponding engine torque curve, understood as cycle average torques in terms of cycle engine initial RPM, is shown. There is some curve shape resemblance to experimentally obtained torque curves, in the sense of having a generally negative second derivative, seen by the overall downward curve concavity, and a resulting global maximum torque value. However, one does not attempt in making further comparisons as the test set kept all other parameters, chiefly the input heat energy per cycle and the heat input time interval, 
constant, which significantly differs from actual engine test and usage conditions. The point is showing that a very simple equilibrium, pure substance, reversible, plane motion, inertia model is able to produce an engine torque curve and consequently also an engine power curve, which is not shown. Another multiple cycle no load acceleration case study with the model with similar input parameters as the validation test except for 600 kJ per kilogram of heat energy input per cycle and a combined crank flywheel inertia of 100 kg meter square accelerating from 1000 to 4000 rpm produces the shown results in terms of engine angular velocity omega and cycle thermal efficiency versus initial cycle rpm eta t of omega 0 with increasing engine angular velocity cycles become more frequent and heat energy is added at increasing rates that is at higher average heat powers and so does the equivalent fuel consumption which by the way is not simulated in an air standard model and the rate of additional kinetic energy storage within the engine during such a regime cumulative energy storage is predominantly quadratic with time which explains the predominantly linear increase of engine angular velocity with time on the left side of the figure moreover the thermal efficiency is shown to decrease with engine RPM, which is an already expected outcome of the previously published thermodynamic only FTHJ model. Conclusions are, results show that the model is able to predict instantaneous torque and angular speed, the coupled cycle PV behavior, the thermal efficiency and cycle average torque. Many energy transfer modes are accounted for. The model has a reasonable amount of design and application input parameters. The model can thus serve as a teaching resource in advanced engineering classes, or as a departure point for more complex equilibrium models in research. Moreover, model improvements can include combustion and chemical equilibrium, valves, flow, heat transfer, pressure drop, and friction losses, as well as more complex mechanisms, unbalanced elements, presence of clutches, various gear ratios, multiple cylinders, and more. Thank you for your attention. The authors are thankful to the Universidade Tecnológica Federal do Paraná, UTFPR, Guarapuava Campus, for providing teaching, mentoring, and research opportunities, as well as institutional access to bibliographic databases. The authors glorified their Lord and God, Jesus Christ, through whom all things came into being, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, and in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Thank you.